no less. That's world to fly time. They had guns in there, cuz. Real guns, man. How the f y'all get hammers in here? Razor, fuck a knife. They had regular knives in there. But the f had guns with bullets in there, son. They hog tied that again, son. And then they put a sheet. They made him open his mouth. They put the sheet around his mouth and all of that. You a you a New York again a Brooklyn again and you did a you did a whole year in a month nigga New Orleans County Jail? New Orleans County Jail, son. Thank you. That was the worst experience of jail in my entire life. <laughs> and I'ma tell you why. I was the only New York dude out there from Brooklyn, the only one. Right? They had another nigga from New York out there, but he was from upstate. But um, he was getting violated. You know what I'm saying? And that jail was open. They had guns in there. Real live handguns. Real live dope fiend needles. Real live crack. Real live heroin. Phones. Regular shit. Them niggas, the whole jail was open, son. You understand what I'm talking about? I go in there. What jail is this I again? HOD. House of Detention. And then they shut that jail down while I was in there. And they sent me to Orleans Parish. That is the real prison of the, that's the real prison as far as county, but it's like, a, it's ran like a fucking state jail, my nigga. Orleans Parish, my nigga. I'm in HOD, son, niggas got guns in there. I seen it with my own eyes, my nigga. Hammers, bullets in the hammers. Them niggas were so open. They were, the jail was so open, son. After seven o'clock count at nighttime, no, 11 o'clock count, the last count, niggas was popping the cells open. It was 10-man cells in there. Five bunks, two-man bunks, two two phones in there, two toilets, two sinks. Nowhere to, when you take a shit, the niggas that's on the top bunk, that's right by the bed. You got to make them niggas get off the bat, off the bunks because you can't um, cover nothing up. Only thing you can do is cover, you, I used to put a blanket from... From one bed to the other bed, that's it. Over your head, you open, you shitting, pissing, everything in front of all these dudes, son. No lie, that shit was like a third world country, my nigga. So anyway, make a long story short, this dude from um from New York, he was from upstate. You know, once I found out he was from New York, you know, I try to see what's up with the nigga. It was mad tall, mad big. So I'm like, this the nigga gonna be my knockout man right here. Man, you go to the store two days a week. Monday and Friday. And guess how much money you could spend on commissary, cuz? How much? Whatever you wanted to. I ain't gonna lie. If you had a thousand dollars that you want, no lie. If you had a thousand dollars on your account and you want to spend that whole band, you could. They ain't have no lockers to put your food in. Uh, none of that, my nigga. So I'm not used to this. I'm used. I'm used to at least having some privacy with my um. <laughs> With my food and shit, you know, whatever, my, you know, my cosmetics, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, um, make a long story short, I'm going to the store, this big nigga from New York, from upstate, he going in the store and shit, but this nigga, I'm telling him, yo, let's cook up, and I'm saying, tonight we gonna cook up, I'm doing that on the street from my town, son, you know what I'm saying? Go. when it was time to cook, guess what that nigga told me, cuz? That nigga said, yo, I only got like three packs of cookies left. I said, three packs of cookies? I said, babe, bro, you just went to the store. You just got your shit this morning. It's come to find out the little New Orleans niggas, that nigga was paying rent to them niggas, son. So now that shit making me, I stopped talking to that nigga because I said, you know what? These niggas ain't going to be violating me, pa, taking my eats and all of that. So I fell back on that nigga, right, last? Boom. I had a fresh pair of 9.5 Air Max on. That's all you can have in there as far as your clothes and underwear. You can have that shit too. My nigga, do you know these niggas was on the gate when I first came to the jail? On the gate, like, yo, what's up with them sneakers and all that? Yo, lads, I said to myself, Duke, I am out of my jurisdiction, right? <laughs> first of all, I'm out of my jurisdiction. These niggas, these young niggas, they mix adults with adolescents, so you know it's wild. My nigga, they on the gate looking at my sneakers like, yo, so where you from? Nah, they ain't asking where I was from. They must have thought I was from out there at first. 
So boom, once I get in there and I open my mouth and start talking, them niggas like, yo, yo, that's when they start, yo, where you from? I'm from New York. So now I'm trying to see their movements. I'm trying to see if they're going to validate me or anything. Nigga was like, what part of New York? Found something from Brooklyn. He's like, oh shit, what the fuck you doing out here? Whatever. So I told him, you know, I got in a situation. Anyway, make a long story short. I look in there, I go to my bunk. It's 10 man cells, lads. It's only, it's only three cells, but they all 10 man cells on each tier. So that's um, 30 people, right? 30, 30 people on one block. Right? Guess where the police be at? Cuz? Outside the gate like HDM? Yep. Oh, I'm talking about way. They don't even be by the gate. They gone. <laughs> I know they scheming on my sneakers, cuz. So I'm, I'm just chilling. I ain't had no mattress, nothing, cuz. Like, another nigga had my mattress, dude. Nigga had two mattresses on his bed. I ain't know that at first, so I'm waiting for the police to come back. He never came back. So I finally seen the nigga bad. I'm like, yo, this nigga bad husky. The nigga never <laughs> told me, yo, I got your mattress and nothing. So I asked the nigga, I'm like, yo, son, you got two mattresses? He's like, yeah. I was like, son, I ain't got no mattress. I need a mattress, bro. He's like, wait for the police to come. So I said, all right. I played my position. All right, dude. I chill. Police ain't never come. Say, yo, son, I need that mattress. I want to lay down, babe, bro. He like, all right. Boom, he had two mattresses. He had a thick one and he had a little one, like a flat one. You know once you you know how them shits be losing the inflation? You heard cuz? <laughs> Hell Boom. yeah, them shit start I don't know where that shit be going. That shit just start <laughs> that shit, I don't know what they make them shits out of, but eventually nigga them shits be a pancake. Right. So son tried to give me the skinny joint. I didn't give a fuck though on some G shit, cause I know how to make my shit rep. Boom, I takes that, put my shit down. I never un I never unpacked my stuff though. The only thing I did was put the sheets on the bed, blanket. I ain't had no pillow or nothing, so I had to use my my bag to put under my shit so I could lay down right. So boom, I'm on the top bunk. I, I wanna be on the top bunk. The bottom bunk, you can't really get veil if you got the top bunk. You could jump off and get busy, you heard? So I'm good with the top bunk. I don't give a fuck. Boom. Time goes on, I'm in there, son. I'm like, yo, I gotta get out of here. This is what I'm saying to myself. Like, yo, yo, court dates, court dates was then there, month, two, three months apart. You know what I'm saying? I'm not from out here, I ain't getting no visits. I got my phone. My baby mom's kept phone. I kept um, money on the phone. So I was good. I kept money in my commissary. I just wanted to get the fuck out of there, dude. Them little niggas. All had bodies, all of them, son. Every, I'm talking about one, two, three, four bodies. One nigga, son. Like, these little niggas, 17, 16. I'm like, yo, I don't even belong in this type of environment. You heard? Word up. So, but you know what? They never, I wasn't running my mouth in there. And if I would've went in there on some clown goofball shit, them yeah. niggas would've violated me. Yeah. I didn't do that. I don't know y'all niggas. I have nothing really to talk to y'all niggas about. I'm just in here chilling right now. So boom, it was one nigga, he just was mad that them niggas wasn't violating me or disrespecting me. I could tell he was a New Orleans nigga that was hating. I had food, I never hid my food. You can't hide your food. This shit is in a plastic bag under your bed, my nigga. You can't hide your shit. So he seen that niggas was taking my shit. So me and that nigga got in some words one time. This was, I had like six, seven months in, so I'm already there. I'm in there with these niggas like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm doing everything y'all niggas doing. They start letting me use their cell phones and shit. At first, I wasn't worried about their phones. I had my phone, you know, I had a phone, you know, on the wall. I'm good. These niggas had cell phones, son. These niggas had dice, my nigga. These niggas had guns. Yo, lads, that's word to fly top. They had guns in there, cuz. Real guns, man. How the fuck y'all niggas get hammers in here? Fuck a razor. Fuck a night, they had regular knives in there. But them niggas had guns with bullets in there, son. Literally, my nigga. So this is an HOD. Mind you, Hurricane Katrina fucked that jail up. That jail was inhumane to even have humans in there. <laughs> you 
You heard? Yeah, bro. I think I saw that so, shit on TV before, and that shit was looking yeah. third world country status. Yeah. Oh, you know who was in there with me? Oh. That nigga, that nigga Big Chief from Cash Money was in there when I was in there. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Nah, BG was chilling in there. So, boom, right? I got like six, seven months in, so this nigga, he just was hating. I just never talked to him or nothing, but he was hating. So, the little nigga was like, man, you think because you're from New York, like, you know, he said some hating shit. So, I said, yo, son, listen, I don't play with niggas. I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I don't give a fuck, man. He told me, I'll smack the piss out of you. That's how they talk. He like, no, nah. he like, um, you heard me? You heard me? I'll smack the shit out of you, heard me? Yeah, man, shut the fuck up that you heard me. So you ain't slapping nothing. I said, son, you're not slapping me. What you think I'm going to do if you slap me? So he's like, yo, we ain't got to talk. Let's go in the shower. Let's go. So boom, I'm like, oh, here it go. So I go, I'm going to get, go, to go towards the shower. And another little nigga, my little man, Mike, from New Orleans, he was like, yo, chill, son. He said, yo, chill, squeak. Nah. He said, if you want to fight the nigga, you can fight the nigga. We, we ain't going to jump you. We ain't going to do none of that. We ain't going to treat you like how we treat these other niggas. I told a nigga, whatever. So once Duke seen that them niggas wasn't going to help him, that nigga bitched up, cuz. So I said, oh, these, I said, oh, this nigga saw. I was, I'm going to keep it real with you. This is Squeak from Fort Greene, from the Ville, whatever. I was scared as a motherfucker in that jail, Duke. Hell yeah, I, ain't let them nigga, I ain't let them niggas know that, though. Y'all niggas got guns. What am I going to do with y'all niggas? With hammers? That's different. I mean, it. They had niggas have been shot on Rikers Island. Just for the record, people have been shot on Rikers Island. And I was in Camp Gabriel. I know a nigga who had a 38, a 38 special. He turned that shit in. And they let him go at the board. You feel what I'm saying? So there's history of guns on Rikers Island and upstate. But that shit ain't really going down like that, my nigga. Like, it's a very rare occurrence on Rikers Island. You see a gun. You feel what I'm saying? Or hear about a gun. Now, look, son. I'm in that bitch. Like, I'm in there for a whole year. Now, check it. I go to court. So them niggas like, yo, listen. Mind you, I wasn't on paper or nothing, nowhere. So them niggas tell me like this, listen. We're going to um, offer you five years probation. I done laid up for a year already, dude. I took that probation, but I knew I was leaving. Let me get that. So boom, they packed up, mind you, in the midst of that, they packed up the whole entire HOD. Because they had to. That shit was on the news every day, son. That shit was inhumane. They wasn't even supposed to have people there. They were sending petitioners around for a lawsuit. I could be getting some bread right now, so I wasn't put that jail had rats upon rats in that at the showers. Guess what I caught in there, son? What? A stab infection on my leg, cuz. That's crazy. That's how dirty that shit was. I caught a staph infection, cuz. Right? So boom. When I go to court, I cop out to the uh five years probation. So when I get when I get back to the uh, jail, they packing niggas up. Yo, y'all niggas going to Orleans Parish, so everybody telling me, like, yo, New York, be careful in Orleans Parish, son. This is wild, but when you get over there, it's going to be different. Niggas in there with life. You know what I'm saying? Niggas in there, they killing niggas in there. So I'm like, what? He like, yo, my nigga. He said, New York. You going over there with us. You know what I'm saying? We gonna let niggas know because we know all these niggas. We gonna let them know that you're family, but it's niggas that we don't know. Niggas will try you, my nigga. And yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm good. Just so happened, I get the I get the um Orleans Parish, right? They send me to the Yank block. You know what a Yank is, right? A Yank is a nigga that wear a different color. You wear blues and you can run around and you in the hallway. You moving around, you cleaning up. You say, oh, let me get that. I, oh, I know how to, and you get on, I got on the phone every day just for having that, 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 that title. They put me as a yank. So I'm in that, I'm in eight, I'm in, um, Orleans Parish for like, I say for like two months, right? When they, they pack me up, they like, um, pack up. So I'm like, eh, what are these niggas sending me? Mind you, I'm on a good block. We're working old time and niggas, I'm lit. Man, them niggas pack me up and guess where they took me, cuz? Yeah. Mind you, I copped out the fire's probation. They took me to motherfucking work release. 
So I said, white police, so I'm gonna be working at this bitch. I'm like, I don't live out here. Listen, you wanna go there, you wanna stay in the pit, send me the work dog. Send me the work release, right? I get over there, this shit open. Niggas in there smoking crack. Niggas in there smoking weed. Niggas in there shooting dope. You know that's their thing down there. Them young niggas down there sniff dope down there. Mm-hmm. You heard? Mm-hmm. In New Orleans. So now I'm witnessing junkies now. Little young niggas. I don't give a fuck. I'm staying out the way. I don't want no problems with you niggas. None of that. Right? So boom, I get the work release. I get a job at this spot called motherfucking Oceana. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the kitchen. I'm cooking. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm getting ready to go home. I get a day. I get the letter in the mail like a week later. I'm leaving on July 11th. I'm happy as a motherfucker. This around May, June. So I ain't going to be there that long. Right? I'm working in there, cuz. Right? My time come to go home. My time come to go home, right? So I'm like, oh shit, it's really going down. I had to fly home. That's how far that shit was. So my mans and them got me a flight or whatever. Make a long story short. I get up out of there. I go to the PO. You know, you got to turn yourself into the PO before you leave, right? I go to the PO there and there. Guess what they said, cuz? What? You can't, you can't leave the state. I said, I don't live out here. I ain't from out here. Well, I said, you know, they said, you can't leave the state. You can't go back to uh, PA. That's where I was living at then. Can't go back to PA. You gotta stay out here and do these years on. I said, I don't live out here. So I that's impossible, impossible for me to have to stay out here. You know what that bitch said? Can't go nowhere, brother. I said, y'all can't transfer my shit to uh, PA? She said, nah. I said, all right. So the supervisor came and talked to me. So I told him, I said, listen, man, I don't live out here, kid. Like, I'm not from out here. You know what I'm saying? I said, you know what? Y'all might as well just send me back to jail and just let me do the time then. If it's like that. Right or wrong, lads? If y'all not letting me go, where I'm going to go at? I don't have no family out here, dude. You heard? How much more time you had left to do? Five years of probation, nigga. That's what I had. Five years on probation. So I told him, listen, I'll go back to the kid. But you know what they deal is? If you if we send you back to jail, you got to do the whole five years. We ain't so doing that. Myself, I'd have been I looking said, oh, for a apart- I'd have been looking for an apartment in New Orleans, nigga. Nah, nah, food. nah. They called PA, and you know the supervisor got it to where they could transfer it, right? So when I get down there, they tra- you know I get back to New York. I mean, get back to PA. I go see the PO down there. They throw the cuffs on me at PA. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what's going on? They like, oh, you know you was on um, probation out here. I said, no, I wasn't. I finished that shit months ago. It wasn't in a system. So they let me go right there. I had to get a lawyer and I beat that shit, right? So now they telling me, listen, I got off though, cuz look what they said. Listen, you got five years probation from New Orleans. We not, we not, we not gonna supervise you on that. So I'm saying what that mean? They said, just don't get in trouble for five years. I ain't get in trouble since, my nigga. Shit, they gave you a they gave you a great look. Yeah, but that year, that year that I did <laughs> in New Orleans was worse than the five and a half years. But was I did niggas getting cut and stabbed every day in that in, in that New Orleans joint? Yeah, they don't cut they don't cut people though, they stab niggas. I tell uh-huh. you what they did to this nigga in there, son. I felt so bad for him, and I wish I could help him. My nigga, they pig tied that nigga. Like, you know how you hog tied nigga from the from the leg to the arm backwards? They hog tied that nigga, son. And then they put a sheet. They made him open his mouth. They put the sheet around his mouth and all of that. And then they took his pants down. You know what they did when they took his pants down? What? Stuck a broomstick in his ass. Live and direct, nigga. I never saw no shit like that. That's when I when they did that. I said, "Oh, boy, oh boy. If I get into it in here, I'm gonna die in here." You heard? And what hap- what happened to the kid after they stuck the broomstick in his ass? Police came, got him. Nigga was leaking, bleeding bad. They locked the low. They locked the block down for like 20 minutes and opened all the cells up again. <laughs> Yo. I said, "These niggas real." What they, what they said that nigga had did? Why they was doing that to the nigga? He had beef with them niggas on the streets. It's, you know, like they got 
See, out there in New Orleans, they got crews. But guess what their crew names is, son? You're going to bug out. They live on wards. They like six wards, seven ward. Guess what their names is, son? What? State property and D block. They got a motherfuckers, a niggas out there called D block. Them niggas was regulating. They from the seventh ward. I will never forget that, son. Never, son. Mm. Them niggas was crazy out there, bro. I'm talking about crazy, my nigga. Crazy. Yeah, that dog. shit is one of the mur- that shit is one of the most murderous states in the country. Like that shit out of control. Yo. Whenever you get a chance, look up HOD in New Orleans, and it's gonna pop up, and they're gonna show you the videos of the jail, inside the jail with the niggas with the guns, six packs of Budweiser's, you gonna bug out. And that was the worst time of my life in the jail system, my nigga. Right, cause Allen ain't got nothing on that, nothing. <laughs> they mix, you know how Right, cause Allen, they, they take adolescents over there and they put adults over there, nah. You chilling with adult niggas and adolescent niggas. Straight like that. Them niggas bring your food to you, son. Them niggas wasn't feeding certain niggas, cuz. Like, literally telling niggas you not eating today, homeboy. Straight like that. You not eating today. What up? Nigga just walk away like, all right. They ain't never do that shit to me, son. Not saying I just didn't talk a lot in there. You know I'm a funny person. I like to laugh. Yeah, but that's how you do it. That's how you do it. When you out of bounds and you out of your jurisdiction, you stay quiet. Keep niggas wondering. Because a nigga, if a nigga, you talk too much, a nigga start feeling like he know you and get familiar with you and could try you. But when you quiet as a motherfucker, niggas be like, I don't know this nigga. This nigga could be a motherfucking serial killer. My nigga, I wasn't in New York quiet like I was out there. Not quiet to where I was tucking my tail. I just didn't talk to them niggas like that because I, I can't relate to y'all. I don't know y'all niggas. You understand what I'm talking about? They, all them niggas kept asking me about Jay Z, and I said, "Yo, I don't know them people like that, man. You know, <laughs> niggas, I don't know them dudes, man, for real." <laughs>